All right, when you get up on the stage, sometimes you're the only person there, and you've got a song that has bits and pieces to it that people are used to hearing other bits. Uh, they're used to hearing a lead guitar or a steel guitar or something. I'm gonna start teaching you how to use and manufacture all of that on this to make it your own song. And there are endless varieties of this, quite frankly. Um, you'll notice I have a 12 string. I hope that you've not decided that you can't do this because we're also gonna bring up a six string. Uh, to show you, it works on all of them. But I just wanted to show you, this is a small body. It doesn't have a lot of volume to it. I should plug it in or use a pick, which I never do. Uh, picks are great, picks are lovely. I just can't use them. Um, we're gonna use as an illustration of how to build a song and make it your own. A song with only four chords written by Gordon Lightfoot way back in the 70s, back when dinosaurs still roam, uh, roamed the earth. And um, it was about a wreck of a ship. It's a true story that uh, the Edmund Fitzgerald went down with all hands. He got a couple things wrong in this song, but let's not worry about that fact. He corrected them later when he would play it live and he comes down here to Nashville quite a bit and plays it. Um, so I've heard the, the corrections, but they're minor. We'll leave that alone, right? Here's the thing. Even if you hate the song, what you're going to learn here will help you do this with other songs as well, right? There are only four chords to the song. A, which if you know your chords, right? Now, no, nothing is amplified today. Nothing's plugged into an amp. That's important, all right? But it's not an A in his song. He lifts up the, 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 the ring finger there. Hear the difference? And you could start writing songs right there, but he doesn't do that. He starts with this. It's called an A sus two, but don't worry about it, right? And then he just moves everything up one string, and guess what? That makes it an E minor. And then a G, and then a D, and then right back to that A sus two. So the pattern throughout the whole song is something like. Just do that. In fact, I heard a guy gigging right outside of Glasgow. Um, I'm sorry, right outside of Nashville. Glasgow was a very long time ago. Um, outside of Nashville, just about three months ago, uh, he was in Franklin, which is a beautiful, beautiful wee town, uh, out on the street. And he was doing the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald and people were stopped to listen. It's a, it's, a, it's a haunting song. It's a beautiful song. And you can do it all on your own. But if you've heard it and if you loved it, you know there's a steel guitar that really adds to the atmosphere, this kind of gloomy, spooky thing. Well, I'm not gonna show you the lead on this because that's not what we do here. We're, we're doing a strum, but we're gonna mix in some bits. You can just use that haunting open. You can use all strings on this. And you can, you can for example, start it off by Is just your arpeggio, half of it. Remember your arpeggio was to go. All we're doing is just this. And then you can walk. And you're in G. And then D. all these sounds. Now the basic rhythm is practice up here and down here. If you want it to really get bright, 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 you go down here. Same thing down here is, it's almost unheard. It's it brighter. Well, with your strum then, go different places. you might be 
St. Patrick. I don't have one of those 12 string guitars. What do I do? Ah, well, hang on. Let me put this down here. I'm back. Did you miss me? I hope you didn't cry too much. This is a six string Taylor 914. And guess what? And you can do all kinds of. started you make sure you get the low bets because you need the storm you need the waves now you notice I'm doing that just because I want to you can use the same strum put pattern oh wait fingers up with the back of the thumb never try to use your thumb down except for the occasional sweep unless you use a thumb pick which again is something I never mastered but you hear all that volume is because you're coming in at it and you don't have to worry about it you can even you ready lift off a little bit you're not touching but you're about to that's a hammer-on you did that an amazing grace with but now you can do it with the whole chord. You're going to do it with the E minor too. And this is not plugged in. Just slamming down on it. You can do this. You've got to get your calluses up a bit. But I just did the dishes because I'm, I'm just a great husband, um, sadly, I'm taken. So, um, but anyway, 41 years, I've learned how to wash dishes. And so my hands were all soft and icky, and I needed to harden them up. And I didn't do anything until I started doing this. You might um, be wondering what, what else we could do with this thing. Well, let me put this one away. My first guitar was this guitar. I didn't know you weren't supposed to learn on a 12 string. I didn't know it was impossible. I'd never owned a guitar, decided I needed one, went into a shop, and this was the prettiest, coolest looking one there, 1977. And I bought it in December of 1977. I'm its first owner. This is an Alvarez Yari, the old school 12 string. You can still uh, get some old school 12 strings, but they, they've gone up in value or they tend to be terrible guitars. This one has gone up in value because it, it plays like butter. It's just the easiest thing in the world. I learned on it. I learned my finger style on it. It's the only guitar I had for many years. Um, so. to learn it because it's a great history lesson but I want you to learn that strum down and how to and playing with it you can even decide to work up the, the, the neck if you know how to make your F yay! move down two and you got your G it's magic move down two more and you got an A but we don't want an A we want an A sus so you go ahead and bar those first two. Sorry, can't get you out of that. And then lift your middle finger, give it the night off. These two fingers, your ring and your pinky, come over here and hit the third and fourth string and... And you have an A sus, right? So you're able to make all those, those cool... So now you've got it. 
might seem like a lot of work to do, but think of the different kind of booms and waves and water and wind and the like you can do with this. Softening it when the men are, um, are terrified and then bringing it whenever the ship begins to sink. Uh, and then softening it again in the Sailor's Maritime Cathedral that I used to walk by all the time. I lived up there for about 10 years. So um, take this, enjoy, uh, and learn the Wreck of the Inn and Fitzgerald just so you can learn the different strumming things because we're going to do some more strumming things pretty soon. Then we'll get back to fingerstyle. But for the now, you've really been in my house a, a lot and I 